A diorama of an active sand dune can be seen by visitors in the upper Parklands Gallery. But did you know that a lot of Manitoba's rare plants actually grow on active sand dunes? Come with me to the herbarium to see some of the species that actually call these sand dunes home. So I have samples of four of the rare sand dune plants that grow in Manitoba here on the table. Two of the species are annual plants and two of the species are perennials. So the two annual species are smooth goosefoot and hooker's bug seed. And those plants can survive in sand dune habitats because they have a very short growing season. And they put most of their energy into producing seeds. Those seeds are, are fairly large and they can actually remain dormant in the sand for many, many years until conditions are absolutely perfect for them to germinate. And for that reason, sometimes you'll go out on the sand dunes and you won't find any of these plants growing at all. And other years there will be a lot of them. And that's part of the reason why scientists consider them to be rare. The other two species are western spiderwort with these lovely purple flowers and dahlia velosa or hairy prairie clover. That species also has purple flowers but they're in a fun little cluster. And these two plants survive in sand dunes by growing really, really deep tap roots past the sandy layer that's pretty dry and down into the deeper layers of the soil where there's actually a lot more water. The hairy prairie clover also associates with special soil bacteria that provide it with nitrogen. Nitrogen is also a pretty scarce nutrient in sand dune habitats because there just isn't a lot of organic matter. So when you support the museum financially, you also help to uh, help us to conduct research on these rare plants and various other rare species that you can find in Manitoba's prairies.